Hello, today we're going to be announcing the Pinoy Athletics Athlete of the Year in Philippine Athletics of 2021, the only award that matters. But before um, we go into that, we will next uh, bring you um, this uh, announcement uh, please subscribe to www.youtube.com uh, Pinoy Athletics 20 for more great insights videos and interviews from pinoyathletics.info okay so the history of the men's award um, started off in 2012 with Rene Herrera followed four times by Eric Cray and then a gap year with Trenton Berum, followed by three in a row by Paul Volter, Ernest Obiena. So looking at the history, Herrera, Steeplechase, Cray, 400 hurdles and 100, Berum, 200 metres sprints, and then Ernest Obiena and Paul Volt. And announcing the winner for 2021 is none other than uh, Ernest DJ Obiena. Um, by a long way, the fourth time to win the coveted award, tying the great Eric Cray um, for the Asian, making a new Asian record, which has just been ratified of 593 metres, multiple breaks at the Southeast Asian record, ending up negotiated at 593 metres, um, multiple uh, times this year breaking the Philippine records. Um, Olympic Games finalist in uh, Tokyo and an outstanding performance in the pole vault on the Diamond League circuit and other European meets which he attended. Now an honourable mention to the following athletes for also performing very credibly in um, the Philippines uh, rank uh, in the Philipp on the Philippine ranking lists. Um, not including athletes that have not presented passports who are not mentioned in this uh, section, but the following athletes performed extremely well in 2021 in the men. Eric Cray, John Hallog, Connor Henderson. So Eric Cray in hurdles, John Hallog in the sprints, Connor Henderson in the hurdles, Louis Agawa in the middle distance, and our friend say Brazza in the middle long distance events. So just congratulations to all the additionals mentioned. And especially uh, due to the fact that it was a COVID year, um, two of the above making effort to join virtual events and um, continuing to break their best performances despite the COVID. Um, there was some very credible performances in the year 2021 from our male athletes. Moving on to the next section and the women's history of the award. Um, Maristella Torres in 2012 in the jump, in the long jump. Nasi Atienza in the heptathlon 2013. Zion Nelson in 2014. Kayla Richardson in 2015 in the sprints. Then Maristella Sunang. Uh, formerly Maristela Torres uh, in the long jump and Mary Jo Tabel in the women's marathon in 2016. Then Mary Jo Tabel solo in 2017. And then the next three in the row by sprinter Christina Knott, who ended up breaking Lydia De Vega's one and 200 meter records in the sprints. And the win announcing the winner for 2021 is none other than Christina Marie Knott, the fourth back-to-back -back award that she's won, more than any other female in the awards history. Um, an 11.28 and 100 tied Lydia De Vega's old record. Also an Olympian in the 200 metres at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. We also want to take the time to acknowledge uh, the following athletes for breaking records, setting sea game standards, or um, performing well in the ranking lists um, for women. Despite the difficulties brought on by COVID, there were some outstanding performances in the women. 
The women that we would like to acknowledge, in addition to Ms. Knott's uh, performance, include Natalie Oye Natalie in the um, women's pole vault, who tied her own Philippine record at 4 metres 30. Um, an outstanding achievement. Um, Shiloh Corrales Nelson, who set um, some throwing indoor records in the throws, and also hit the uh, shot put um, bronze medal standard for the sea games with a throw of 1345 meters with the standard being 1336 meters which is the fourth uh, best shot put of all, all time with the other three people ahead of her being deceased um, so the strongest living shot put of um, in women's uh, shot put for the philippines Shilo Corrales Nelson, um, as well as her new national record twice or three times already in the women's hammer throw. So Natalie and Shilo both setting Philippine records in the pole vault and the hammer throw. As well as that, we would like to acknowledge uh, Sea Games bronze medalist in the 400 hurdles, Robin Brown, uh, Robin Lauren Brown, who set a new personal best in the 400 hurdles, smashing her old personal best by three quarters of a second with 57.65 in the women's 400 hurdles, just 0.08 off the legendary record of Elma Muros at 57.57. Also, shout out goes to Kayla and Kyla Richardson, the two Richardson twin sisters. Uh, Kayla being the 2015 SEA Games champion in the 100 metres and also the Philippine junior record holder in the 100 metres with the time of 11.65. Uh, Kayla managed to break her record of six years ago of 11.65, running 11.57 this year. And Kyla Richardson took her best time from 11.78 to 11.65 in the women's 100 metres. So again, another outstanding performance. And last but not least, to acknowledge Sarah Moran in the Javelin, who set a new personal best of 48-24 in the women's Javelin. So as well as not, Kayla Richardson, Kyla Richardson, Robin Brown, Natalie Oye, Shiloh Corrales Nelson, and Sarah Moran, congratulations to all the runners up there. And um, moving on now to the next section the junior men's history in the um, in the event uh, for the Pano Athletics Athlete of the Year Award. So the previous awardees include uh, national junior record holder in the 100 metres, Daniel Navell, Ernest John Obiena, um, who, as you will see, later progressed to become the alpha um, male athlete in Philippine athletics after a couple of outstanding years there as a junior in 2013-2014. Francis Medina in 2015 for his effort in breaking the junior record in the 110 hurdles. Um, then also Cassie Febroy in 2016 for setting a Palarong Pambansa record in the 100 metres. Jelly, uh, Jerry Belly Bestry in 2017 uh, for breaking the Philippine junior record in the long jump. Edwin Garon Jr. in 2018 for making the Asian junior final, finishing eighth in the Asian juniors in 2018. And Elrin, Elryan Labita in 2019 for setting the Philippine junior record in the 400 meter dash. So some outstanding performances in every single one of the athletes on that list breaking a record, a national record or a Palarong Pambansa record of some sort, um, making this a very solid um, list of athletes to follow. In 2020, this award was not awarded as we didn't find a candidate suitable to win the award, but good news is back in 2021, the award is now back and the award has gone to John Mark Martyr. Um, the first time ever to win the award, 17 years of age, 
set a Philippine junior record in the 1,000 metre outdoor event and the winner of the Panoy Athletics virtual 1,000 metre nationwide challenge um, from the H12 running team embargo. So a shout out to team members and coach. And last but not least, the junior women's um, award for the Panoy Athletics athlete of the year. So previous winners include UAAP record holder Jenny Rose Rosales, former Palaron Pambansa record holder in the 400, current UAAP record holder in the 100, the 200, the 400 and the 400 hurdles, even up until now, some almost a decade later, still holds those prestigious records in the University Athletics Association of the Philippines in the four events. Um, not include i'm not sure about the relays but in those four individual events she still holds the uaap record um then after that the award went the award carried on with two more sprinters with zeon corrales nelson um, who broke the philippine senior and junior records kayla richardson who later broke zeon's junior 400 record and also that year won the sea games 100 meters at the tender age of 17. Um, that year, she was awarded both the Senior and Junior Athlete of the Year Award. The first time, I believe, Zion and Taylor are both, you know, have both won the uh, concurrent Senior and Junior conjoined. Um, Miyagi Nanura in 2016 for breaking the Palarong Pambansa records in the 1 5 and the 3000 meters and secondary girls, but also breaking the legendary record of um, Katabong in the junior women's 3000 meters in 2016 with a time of 10.03, uh, 10 minutes 03. Uh, Alexi Kaimoso in 2017 for uh, breaking the Pabarong Pambanta record in the women's high jump. And then another high jumper in 2018, Evangeline Kamenong, who took the gold medal at the ASEAN School Games and also set a new Pabarong Pambanta and Philippine junior record in 2018. And then in 2019, Daniel, Daniela Quintero for topping the women's eight and one in 1500 meter List on the seniors at the age of 15, followed by Mia Galurgan in 2020, who set a world um, record for 11 year olds with a time of 1741, and also topped several of the senior women's uh, ranking lists in the Philippines at the age of 11. And now announcing the last awardee for today and in 2021, and the uh, junior women's uh, recipient of the Athlete of the Year Award through, through Panoy Athletics, again, is Daniela Quintero. The second time to win the award, tying Jenny Rose Rosales's number of wins. Uh, the top woman in the Open for the Philippines in the 8 and the 1500 with a time of 2.15 and 4.38 in 2021 at 17 years of age. And with regards to the women, uh, the junior women, we would like to make an honourable mention to Mia Galurgan, who was the 2020 winner, who has had a relatively successful season in 2021 in Australia. Um, going back to the junior men, as we forgot to mention it, we would also like to post shout outs to acknowledge the following athletes, um, mainly through Panoy Athletics virtual meets, who had outstanding performances in 2021. So going back to the women, we'd also like to acknowledge um, Erica Ruto and Davina Mahusi for their efforts at our uh, virtual competitions. Um, in the women's 400, a girls 400. And we would also like to acknowledge in the junior men for their outstanding contributions to our virtual events 
and outstanding performances, including um, H12 Bagu City's uh, MJ Maldujuia and uh, Pangasinan's uh, Guhan and Gio in the sprint events. Oh, sorry, Guan. Guan in the sprint events as a, as a junior. Just Guan there. Okay. So that rounds up our um, that now rounds up our um, our uh, chat our uh, award session for today. We'd like to bid everybody a good day and stay tuned for other updates as we have more news coming regarding future events. And um, yeah, so we just uh, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pinoy Athletics Twenty for more great updates such as this and. Um, more information on our events. Thank you, everybody, and have a pleasant day.